Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. Let's see what's going on today. Oh, Queen of Sauce today. Uh, light breeze tomorrow. Fortune teller says uh, mildly perturbed today. Well, that's not good. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This, this week's dish, stir fry. Perfect way to get some healthy greens into plates. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. We learned something. We know how to cook food. All right, a uh, few crops in. This, uh, are you doing a good job so far? Ooh, nice, you scared off one crow. Hey, I like it. That's, uh, that's a good start. Let's get our watering can. We need that. Now, uh, we've got to go and drop off um, the sword with Gunter. Uh, one thing I did notice so far um, is that we haven't seen any artifacts so far. And uh, I was thinking of that at the end of last time. I was looking um, at uh, our little menu there that tells us what we sold and what we found and etc. And um, yeah, we're not really seeing uh, artifacts on the ground. I don't think I've seen a single artifact spot. We've seen these wormy things. Whoa, hello. I didn't realize you could hold that. Okay. <laughs> I think we just killed all the worms. Um, but I have not seen any artifact spots, or I'm not paying enough attention. I'm too busy looking for other things. So I'm going to keep keep an eye out. Yeah, what? Okay. <laughs> What's funny is that in the... Uh, oh, this is all whole bolt. What? Oh, wow. I did not realize that would happen. Huh, neat. Okay, everything becomes, wow, that is a much more destructible environment. These little things that I take for granted from the original, uh, it's going to be really hard to get my head around, I think, to, or it's going to take me a little bit of time to just try everything. And then I'm going to be completely spoiled by this playthrough, and then I'm going to be like, well, you know what, the normal game doesn't let me do this. Oh, <laughs> we're going to be way too spoiled. Oh, it's all good. We've uh, gained a little bit of cash last time, so we're at 223. Oh, no, I don't have anything there. Let's maybe wait. Okay. We should get some more seeds. Um, I'm now curious to see well, like, what happens with the community center uh, when, when that opens up to us. And we still have to finish meeting some people. Like, I was hoping to meet the wizard, but I, yeah, I don't think we get to meet the wizard right away. We've met Marnie. Uh, I gotta see who else is on the list. We've met most everybody. Um, Clint, we need to go and see. That's somebody we can go and visit, I guess. We could go drop off the sword and visit Clint. So last time we saw like all of that, that cool forest and um, that sort of abandoned area, that's really nice. I had, uh, had always hoped to see something out in that area. I think everybody did. I, I guess that's why they put it there. It's so enticing, um, that area. Sort of up by uh, where the, the dance happens all the time. Uh, let's get rid of the watering can. And let's make a couple more of those, and then we'll put our stuff away here. Okay, I'm going to get rid of one of these potatoes. We'll have to go buy some more seeds in town here. So yeah, we'll slowly... Oh, there we go. New journal entry. We got the... Finally, we run into this. Oh, hi there. The timing of these things I completely forget from the original. It's... It's so weird, the opening bit. Um, this is the Pelican Town Community Center. What's left of it anyway? Yeah, it used to be the pride and joy of the town. Always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. Shameful. These days, young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me. I sound like an old fool. George Corp has been hounded me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah, well. If anyone else buys a Jojo membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Ah, here. Let's go inside. So it begins our adventure here. Now, I again, I completely forget what we require for this thing. Stuff, lots of stuff. 
Now it's the, the hoarding begins. I don't know. What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. Junimals, that's what the name, word I forgot last time. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Oh. There we go. Junimals waving at us. We get to see the wizard soon. What's the matter? Are you ill? I, there was something here I'm hallucinating. Huh. Well. Yeah, you saw some. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. <laughs> like big smile. Ah. Yeah. Mayor's not too impressed. Ah, you're afraid of rats, huh? That's going to be a problem in this town. You're worried me, Maud Hodge. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. So how are the kids getting in here? Like through the fireplace, breaking windows? He, he, strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Indeed we will, right now. <laughs> I'll have to come back. I'll have to enter right at this exact moment. Uh, all right, let's go see what we have going on in here. Oh, uh-huh. Oh, oh, cool. Okay. That's exactly what I was afraid of. Huh. Well, anything in the cupboards? No. Anything else? Uh, curiosities laying around? This is where I feel like I may find something cool. Oh, hello. Is there anything in the safe? Can I? No. All right. Nothing else going on. Is there anything over here? Maybe there is no secrets here yet. No. Uh, hold up. Okay. I don't recall being able to go over there before. Well, that's that. Alright, well, we're going to have to, uh, go and, uh, get this place all sorted out. Um, at least we know about that. We'll find out, I guess, that the, the uh, um, the wizard knows more. Okay, so 11.30, um... Oh wow, you can come back over here. What is in there? Huh. Okay, that's definitely a thing. So I gotta put something in there at some point, I'm guessing. Uh, is there anything else happening here? It's hard to tell. I almost feel like there could be something here. Any more secrets? No? Okay. Let's go and see um, Clint. And we'll give uh, this thing over to Gunter. That would be a good uh, good way to get on with our day here. Yeah, I like that that path isn't too far. I still don't think you can ride a horse down it, though. But that's okay. Oh, look who it is. Hey, Penny. Hello, uh, the weather's interesting today, don't you think? Scintillating conversation. Oh, hello. How's it going there, Martin? I sometimes take the bus here to check out books from the library. The guy with the goatee doesn't talk much. <laughs> dude, how are you doing? Don't you have work to do? Oh, dude, take it easy, my friend. Uh, let's see, what do you got? Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, well, I need some cash, so it's going to be a little while before I get some of that. I'm a little, uh, broke at the moment, so, you know. Okay. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. He's surprised to see us. What's this? You found something. Let me see it. Hmm. Intriguing. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Huh. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any of the new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Alright, we shall. We got one thing, bud. Here it is. 
Shing. All right, uh, where am I gonna put the swords? Maybe back here. Okay. Okay. So we've uh, we did that. We got two hundred fifty dollars. We got. Uh, I don't even know who. Um, I'm missing at this point. Um, let's go see here. Oh, okay. So we got Abigail and uh, Harvey. We could go and meet. That's easy enough. Or should be easy enough. Okay, let's go see if we can do that. It's only 140, so we can definitely go see Harvey. Check in the garbage, check in the garbage, hoping no one's around. Do, 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 do. Oh, Martin's chilling out. Uh, all right, wow, everybody's here. How's it going, Carolyn? Today I'm just gonna relax and think positively. Victor says, uh, hi. Oh, hello there. Uh, can I help you? Everybody's very, like, standoffish. I'll see you later, Pierre. Uh, how's it going there, bud? Aren't you too cold? They don't make sweaters like they used to. Hey, Jody. I'm taking a break from house chores today. If I don't spend any time outside, I'll go crazy. Uh, I can't go back here yet, no. Carolyn's friends only can enter back here. Okay, I gotta go see Harvey. See you, excuse me there. Let's, uh, I'm gonna, I gotta, there we go, I gotta skadoodle past you there. Uh, I got $400 as well. What do I want to buy more of? I'm gonna buy a couple more cauliflower seeds. Um, hmm. I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm gonna make a couple. They grow in 10 days. Okay, I'll get a couple more of those. And then just buy some parsnips. It's a hard one. I like, you know, what's the best strategy? I don't know. Oh. You're not good enough friends with Harvey to enter into his inner sanctum. Why? You barely know him at all. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Dude. Deuter McDeuterkins, hold up. I gotta talk to you. He better not be going home. My friend. Huh, I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. I guess it's strike getting patience from neighboring towns or maybe even causing the odd accident. Hey there, mister. Um, okay, I, I'd like to meet Abigail. Uh, I'm trying to think of where she's hanging out. Um, where does Abigail go in the daytime? Okay, she's not at, at home, and I, I don't think she's chilling out in the back area. Ha, huh, I've got to get this behind the, go the behind the counter blues. Maybe she's out at the, she's not gonna be hanging out at the arcade right yet. Pure shipping bin has a lock on it. Don't you ever take a day off? I don't, Carolyn. We've established this. I wonder if she's busy playing like the flute over in the mountains or something. My sister is so weird, sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. Good question. Uh, no. no nobody here? Alright. And it'll be interesting to see if anybody ends up in there. Nobody that away. Alright, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna hang around by their house, because I really want to run into Abigail. There's Pam. Hey Pam, what's up? Are you friends with Gus? He's a pretty good guy. He even gives me a free beer on my birthday. Well, well, well. You can't beat that, can you, Pam? Hey, dude. Um, I'm gonna just hang out in your house. That, if that's cool. I'm gonna just chill with your fam. We're gonna, you know, it's gonna be totally normal. Absolutely not weird. Oh, you're gonna do some stalking? Okay, you do that. I'm gonna just hang out here. But you can ignore me, that's cool. Okay, so let's see here. We got uh, yeah a couple things shipped. Got that one thing. We we've kind of seen a second thing now. What I'm wondering is if we are maybe not going to see artifacts come out of the ground, but in fact we're going to have to kind of get them as part of the overall story. I don't know. I'm very intrigued still by uh, all that backpack. Willie's innovation build a well. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah, we don't know. I see. That's all the notes. 
All right, so we're sort of waiting here. Then I need uh, two grand for that. Not enough money, indeed. I'm afraid to leave because I feel like as soon as I leave, she's going to come in. Ah, I can't wait here all day. Huh. Is Carolyn still here? Carolyn's still there. Maru's the nurse. Hey, Harvey. Yeah, I just need to meet Abigail, I think, and then I'm all done. There's Maru down there. There's Elliot. There's Marnie. Yeah, everybody's on the move, so... Wherever Maru was, it's she'll be coming back. I think, it's, I think I'm going to hang around here. Oh, hey, Olivia. New person. How's it going? You don't take days off, do you? I certainly don't want to distract you from your work. Go on ahead with your errands, Maudach. <laughs> I'm regretting my name now. Uh, I feel like I... I chose it for just logical reasons. I thought it would be a good differentiating name. Not thinking about the fact that it's going to be what they, everybody calls me. That's okay. That's who we are. We have to embrace... Oh, it's the mayor's birthday! Oh, man, I would give him a parsnip today. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Seven o'clock. Like, what is... What is that? I, I worry that she's not, in fact, up here in the woods, but she's somewhere else, maybe, and I'm going to miss her. Uh, come on. Abigail. Do, 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 do. Oh, I can still go in here. Let's make sure she hasn't, like, snuck in through a portal. You know, there might be, a like, a Yoba portal or something. Mm, nothing yet. Okay, 8 o'clock, like, she's got to come back. I love this. I, I genuinely have not memorized her uh, schedule yet. But I, like, really want to run into Abigail so I can just check off the final person. That's all this is about. This is about checklists. Uh, bunny's running away. I don't blame you. Does Abigail ever come home? That is the question. Like, how late does she stay out? Abigail, I've got I've got crops I want to plant. Eight thirty. Wow. It's quite late. Again, I don't feel like they would be welcoming a, me into the. But I guess you could come and come and say hi to Yoba at any time. Is that the idea? All right. Let's. Uh, I don't see her yet. Pierre, where's your kid? Like. Dude, I'd like to say hi to Abigail, but uh, I don't, uh, and I don't want to leave. Oh, is that? No, that was Pierre. Oh, can I go in now, or is that? I'm still kind of like blocked. Ooh, a force field prevents me from going in. Okay, what do I got here? I'm going to borrow a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm running low on that. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. That's the stuff right there. Uh-huh. Ooh, fresh fruits. Mmm, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take some of this dried nuts. Excellent. Oh, yeah, delicious. Just load up my pockets. Um, giant bin of potatoes. Careful with that. Oh, look at that. We've got our sundries down here. Very nice. <laughs> Very good. There's no portal down here. That's too bad. Okay, I'm, I'm truly... I have no idea when time she gets back. <laughs> There she is. Oh, man, I've been pushing off my homework all weekend. Looks like I'll be pulling another all-nighter. Well, all you know what? I just, uh, we met, and I don't have anything to give you. I'm not giving you my granola bars. I really need those. Well, that's all right, though. That's cool. We've, uh, we got that done. <laughs> Let's get this stuff on the ground now. Oh, my gosh, what a, what a waste of a day. <laughs> But I'm glad we got that finished. That was nice. All right, let's put these three things here. And these things here. And let's get our watering can and our fertilizer. All right, and uh, yeah, I guess I've got to make... Um, I'll plant them here, I suppose. 
Uh, and then these two can go here. Oh, and then well, these can go here. And I think what I should do is I should try and cut down a couple more trees to get some fertilizer. Um, I could use a little bit. It is getting late. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep those for tappers. What am I doing? Okay, let's go and cut down trees down this way. Okay, and then we'll make, uh, we'll cut down this one more. I gotta get to bed. Oh boy. We're gonna be wrecked tomorrow. I think we're gonna pay the price for this, but I'll have better crops. Okay, this better not wipe me out uh, getting this fertilizer made. Okay, there we are, and let's go and get these two first. There we go. And inside we go. That, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's good enough. Um, we can't make any more bars yet soon enough, and uh, let's go to sleep. Okay. I think we're going to do another quick day here. I suspect it's going to be a faster one because we're going to be so wiped out. But I do love in this early game that we can uh, make such huge amounts of progress so quick. Okay, what do we have going on today? It is a weather report. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Fortune, uh, spirits mildly perturbed, and living off the land. Fences. Okay, yep. I'm not going to worry about fences, but it's good. We've heard about them. I've heard about these cool things. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the town stone tower. I may have some information concerning your rat problem. And Rasmodius wizard. Okay, Rasmo. We finally get to meet Rasmo. That's exciting. Uh, so we'll head over there first thing after we uh, finish this. And we're only moderately tired, it seems like. Okay, we're gonna get some more water. We gotta get coffee. That's what we need to get. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to cut down some more stuff and get maybe some more, like, random seeds or something. And uh, once we get Rasmo going, we can get that community center clicking away. Yeah, I always forget how much, how sort of slow the early game is. Like, that there's so much setup uh, that has to happen. Which I don't mind. It's cool. It's just, it's like a reminder. I was like, oh wow. Yeah, you expect things are going to move like really fast. Like first episode, you're going to be like, okay, let's get finishing that community center bundle. Let's go, f you know, no, no, that's not at all what's going to happen. My gosh. I was going to check too, that grass that we hoed up there. Did that all, no, okay, it stayed on hoed. Interesting. It didn't fill back in. All right. Yeah, we're definitely at a that point with the little bit of farming that we're doing where it starts consuming huge amounts of your time <laughs> and energy. All right, uh, that's good. Got that done. So let's put these away. Uh, now I don't know. I don't really care about the cash at this point. I think I might wait. Um, and then let's, uh, we'll see what we can get on our way to go see Rasmo. If there's any more seeds or anything on the ground. Hey, look at you, little tree. What is today? Today is, oh, well, look at that. We get a little cutscene here over at Fairhaven. He's surprised to see us. Andy. Ah, it's a new farmer. How you doing on this fine sunny day? You caught me in the middle of tending to my crops. I'm spreading some new Jojo fertilizer on my crop field. I always use Jojo fertilizer. It makes my crops stronger and healthier. Say, you're just starting out on Hodge Farm. I have something for you to help you out. Better not be a club card. I have some strawberry seeds for you. Fairhaven Farm strawberries have a good reputation at Grampleton and Chestervale. Nice. I'll be sending them your way once I have the time. These uh, your crops got me occupied. 
You have yourself a nice day, Mod Hodge. Go get some dirt on you. So I like that the, the character is, you know, he's the Jojo. He's the big box store su supporter. However, we're not going to judge him too harshly at this point. It's, uh, it's too early for that. We're just getting to know people, but we're getting to know that he's more complicated than first blush might uh, reveal. He isn't just about, you know, being a supporter of uh, agribusiness. He's also, you know, a nice guy. He believes in community, all that. But we'll see. Is there more? What is there more to all these people? There always is, but who knows? Uh, what can we do over here? You feel a magical presence here. <laughs> Oh, I love it. He's got a Juno chest, and he's got the tree from the, uh, um, the, um, uh, theater. Ah, come in. He's busy doing some magical things, some workings. I am Magnus Resmodius, seeker of the arcane truths, mediary between physical and ethereal, master of the seven elementals, keeper of the sacred ch- ah, you get the idea. And you, Mod Hodge, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! Hot diggity. It's, uh, it's one of my rats. He's caught them in some kind of force field. You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious sprite spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. What about the symbol, bud? Hmm, you found a golden scroll? Written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. Do we get to smell the vapors? Is that the is that what this cutscene is? All right. Just, can I touch? Oh no! Hello. I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happily happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Uh-huh. Hmm, one with the forest. What do they mean? Sniff, sniff. Aha! Come here. Uh, I'm a little worried, buddy. Are you gonna... I don't have to drink those, do I? My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't feel very good. We got 38 energy out of the deal, though. Uh, I may retch all of my in innards out, though. We don't look so good. Things get wild. The trees have, they've left their forest uh, home. They now walk. They're Ronin, Ronin of the forest. They're coming to get us. Beware the trees, beware the trees. Some wild stuff going on there. You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decide for the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Oh yeah, forest magic, that's my jam. Now, can we see? You think to yourself that maybe, just maybe, there's something magical about this place. Eh. Giant fruits. Everybody's got some kicking around. Alright, so it's nine in the morning. Uh, you know what we're going to do, because it is so early. We're going to follow this little trail down over here. And we're going to go back over to that other area. Uh, this away. And then it was up here, I think. I just want to go and get the, uh, go check out that house that was abandoned. Keep my foraging up. 
I don't want to fill my inventory completely, though. Oh, interesting. Okay, and then... Over here, yes? Here we go. The shipping bin is bolted shut. Right, and there was a doll here. We'll get this thing. And we find an old scrap of paper. Aurora Vineyard, bankrupt due to market crash. Sturdy Valley. The effects, lower demand of cross crops. Local favor, unavailable for it to sell. There's expected root. Okay. Ferngill government has administered to help farmers. Mayor Lewis, farmers of Sturdy Valley, financial insect. Okay, uh, whoop, uh, the exports to other regions is expected many will follow. So there was some, some bad mojo here that happened out in this farm. Plastic Bay has a Jojo logo. It hasn't been here long? Oh, interesting. There's a, a Jojo or a, a Yoba thing there. Oh, what is this? The cellar is blocked by vines, you can't enter. We, we're not able to. Huh. Well, I, I don't know. That seems like a... It's taunting us. Okay, well that's that. I got At least we got the doll there. Okay, I think we'll head back. Yeah, and there's, there's the sign. The Dawkins Residence. Alright, and uh, home we go. Well, yeah, now I, I feel a little bit better. Like, I feel like we're gonna. Not, oh, there we go. We got ourselves a pinecone. <laughs> we're not gonna die out here. Uh, early enough in the day, we can at least get a, something else done, though. Okay, and then we can come. I guess we'll come this way. Or we can go down here. Or is that the way we went? No, this is when we, we went when we came in here originally. Okay. I'm getting my legs now. Sure. Alright. Oh, there's a horseradish hiding down here. Why, well, hello there. It definitely feels like a much better use of this space. Like it being busier and being... That it leads into a forest or it has some kind of biome going on. Um... Yeah, definitely the, uh, it, it feels more lively, more mysterious. That's good. Haley's out here today. I can't even gather that stuff. Haley's too involved to notice. Okay, we got, yeah, every day I gotta get, uh, oh. Yeah, so used to some of these paths being more like straight leading to our farm, not uh, heading to interesting other areas. Okay, give someone a gift. Well. <laughs> I don't think she's going to appreciate that. I'm going to give Haley a pass on that. Okay, let's get over here and uh, dump this stuff off. Now the trash... Um, yeah, I, I don't have a recycling machine yet. I'm going to have to wait on that. And I do have... I can make another one of these things. One more granola bar for the road, please. Okay, 220. Well, let's go and give this thing over to, uh, buddy. Uh, go see Gunter. There's a dandelion. I was thinking I would be, this would be a super quick episode, but when we get cutscenes, boy, oh boy. Like going and seeing, uh, Duder there. Uh-oh. Yeah, these take up a lot of time, <laughs> but I love them. Oh. Oh, we got one with the dog. That's nice. <laughs> Dog's all excited. Dusty's just ready to go. Oh, pet Dusty. Okay. Dusty's Dusty's happy. That's cute. Okay, I can give this to Evelyn. I think I see her around here, which I should. Yeah, there she is. 
Hey, Olivia, I wonder if any of Victor's friends want a part-time job cleaning the house. It saved me a lot of time. Carolyn, I wish Abby wouldn't spend so much time in her room. Maintaining a household is difficult work, but somebody has to do it. Evelyn. How nice. Thank you, dear. Oh my, what a lovely day. I didn't just do it for the $100. I swear, Evelyn. I swear. Okay, let's go and buy uh, some more seeds once again. Hey, Leah. The trees look nice today, don't they? So why did you become a farmer? It's more real than living in the city, following Grandpa's footsteps, and want to escape my old life. I want to make tons of money. Uh, escape my old life. <laughs> That's pretty much the reason I came here, too. Hello. All right. Um... Okay, that's, uh, can I get anything else? No. Don't have any cash. Uh, let's get down to the library now. So, yeah, I think we're keeping at it decently. I've got to get more fertilizer. Um, I'm just trying to keep rolling the cash over, so then we'll, we'll slowly get some decent money when we finally cash a crop in here. Uh, we'll see. Hey, buddy. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to put my icky doll. Uh, where should I put dolls? Uh, I feel like the jewels want to go up in the main area. We'll put those there. Okay, we'll keep at it. Don't worry. Also, we're going we're gonna to check your trash. Nothing. Alright. I can live with that. Four o'clock. Waiting for that still. Yeah, the, nothing there. All right. Well, let's... Oh, interesting. Oh, they moved their trash can there. Ah, interesting. Their yard's all shifted around. Huh. That's really cool. Again, all these little things. I, this can take me forever to notice. At some point, it, I may not even... <laughs> be like, is that actually different? We'll cut these down. We'll see, we're all about the sap right now, but I also will take all the other, take the acorns, take anything else we can get. Got to work on that, uh, getting our strength up as well. Get that stamina. We can cut down more trees <laughs> before we head into the forest. There we go. All right. So how many... Make nine fertilizer, that'll probably do it. Alright, um, let's put in... You can go there. You can go there. Okay. I can't put that anywhere else. Alright, and then... Uh, how many? I got three. One. And then two. And then, uh, I guess we'll just keep going here. Three. All right, and we're getting wiped out for the day. Let's eat one of these. Perfect, and let's go and get our watering can. Oh, no, I don't want that. Okay, so we actually have leftover fertilizer for once, which is good. We have to get back on murdering the forest. I think that's going to, uh, oh, for Pete's sakes, <laughs> water that six times. Do we lose water? What? Yeah, you do lose water just watering stuff. Got to be more careful. All right, let's fill that in. Now I'm just going to cut down some trees here. Absorb. There we are. Alright, we're starting to feel wiped out. I guess that's a good stop point. Well, we'll get some sleep. Um, let's dump all this off. So we got more fertilizer we'll be able to make. That's nice. And uh, what do we have coming up? Um, so we've met a bunch of people. We're chatting now. We gave a gift. Look at that. Ho oh, ho. Lots of conversations. We're not, we got zero hearts with anybody though. It's going to take us a while. But we've at least met everybody. Uh, that's that's cool. 
Um, the other thing now is uh, explore the mine is level five in the mine, and then we got to build a coop. So those ones are gonna the coop's gonna take a bit of time. The mine shouldn't take too long. We should get out there pretty soon. One of these rainy days, we'll get busy with that. Other than that, uh, it's just a matter of keep exploring. And um, yeah, we'll see where it goes from here. All right, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye. Level 2 foraging, plus 1x proficiency, and we learned survival burgers.